The fight over the release of five decades of Chicago police misconduct records made it all the way to the state Supreme Court today. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kosloff has been covering this case for years and reports CPD's attorney faced some tough questions. Charles Green versus the city. Attorney Jared Kozaglad has spent almost a decade fighting for his client Charles Green, first to clear Green's name of any connection to a 1985 quadruple murder. Did you have anything to do with the murder of those people? No, ma'am, I did not. Second, to get the city to honor a judge's initial order that the city release 50 years of police misconduct records to help Green clear his name. The city initially ignored Green's public records request, so Green later sued and won. This case is about a public body's decision to evade transparency into public records of police misconduct is what Kazaglad told Illinois Supreme Court justices, arguing the police department has an obligation to release those records, even though an appellate court later ruled it didn't. City attorneys have said it would be too burdensome and cost millions. There was no doubt that the city could not, or the CPD could not produce the records at that time. The city must have been aware the clock was ticking on this important defense. Asked Justice Mary Jane Tice, referring back to the city's failure to respond to Green's initial FOIA request, Kazaglad argues this case is also about transparency. In 2020, the city offered Green $500,000 to drop his request, with Alderman pledging to pass an ordinance to release those files anyway. The offer later disappeared. The ordinance went nowhere. Police department still saying they're the only ones who know what's wrong with it and they're the only ones who know how to fix it because they're the only ones with the information, but they don't know what's wrong and they don't know how to fix it. And it's time to let members of the public participate in the affairs of government, which is precisely the point of FOIA. We'll be taken under advisement as agenda number six. The justices are expected to release their decision later this year. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News.